Hey there, and thank you for joining us on the Retro Game Couch. It's time for a new Versus Challenge. Yes, and uh, I figured uh, we'd give you a chance this time. So this is the Commodore 64 Basic Challenge. Yep. So uh, we have one month, and we're both going to try and create a working game in Commodore 64 Basic. Yeah. And we're not allowed to use any external tools, no emulators, no Simon's Basic, no nothing. No what? Simon's Basic, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Plain Basic, no assembler, uh, just Basic, and it has to be done on a real C64, no emulator stuff, and we have to save the game on a 1541 drive, yeah. and you have one. Yeah. So, so it'll be the full authentic Commodore experience. Awesome. Yeah, this uh, should be fun. Yeah. Revisiting my very first... Uh, platform I ever programmed on. Yeah, and it'll be fun to type my first command in BASIC <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Okay, so, so let's, let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be appropriate to start my part of the challenge in front of my, well, at least a part of my Commodore 64 collection. Um, the Commodore 64 is a very special computer for me, and uh, I'm so excited that we're doing another Commodore 64 related challenge. So the Commodore 64 was my first ever computer, and it was the computer that got me into programming, got me into gaming, things that I still do today on a daily basis. And I can say for sure that this guy is the reason that I work in IT right now. So that we're doing a Commodore 64 challenge now is awesome. And now all I need is a great idea. Yeah, I got nothing. I've just set up my uh, Commodore rig for the challenge with my uh, 1541, my C64 and my Commodore monitor. And uh, well, the first step is to learn some uh, basic, basic, some basic, basic. Yeah, because uh, KS has uh, some experience of coding BASIC from his uh, youth and uh, I'm uh, a lot younger so I uh, haven't had the pleasure of working with one of these in my childhood. So uh, I've got the Commodore 64 Programmer's Reference Guide and uh, well, let's start reading I guess. <laughs> I finally have an ID. I've been tossing around IDs for a while now and now I finally have something where I can commit myself to. I want to make some kind of two-dimensional mining game loosely based on Minecraft. But not at all, of course, But because it's, for one, it's two-dimensional, and second, it will be totally in text mode. I'm going for the old-school uh, 40 columns by 25 lines text mode. So um, what you see here is the black thing is a shop, and you see the, a grass layer and different layers of stone. And the first layer will be dirt. And uh, you have to upgrade your tools. So the first tool will only get you through the grass and through the dirt. You have to find coal. You can sell the coals. Blah, blah, blah. Upgrade your tools. And you also have a health bar, as you can see. And that is because you cannot stay underground indefinitely. You have to come up once in a while uh, to catch your breath. And if you don't you die. So that's the idea. Finally some progress. Uh, I can show you the listing that I have so far. It's not really that interesting, but um, yeah, progress. Very cool. I wish I had paid more attention at uh, math at school. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. But I'm trying to get an understanding of uh, how the screen works and how I can uh, turn off uh, the, the different uh, characters uh, on the screen uh, and where I need to place them with with mathematical formula, so uh, it's quite a lot harder than I thought, but uh, we're getting along quite nicely. Learning, learning, learning. So let me show you what I've built so far. It will look very flickery, I know, I'm really sorry, but what I've built so far is that I can now define layers. So this is the grass layer, which will have no chance of spawning any of the items listed here, diamonds, coal, and gold. Um, it should only print one grass line and the color should be green. Uh, 
the the first real layer on the ground will be dirt uh, it should also not spawn anything and it should be brown now this is the code that i wrote just a second ago uh, which handles gravity and if you fall more than two blocks down you will get damage now let me show you how this works so i'm only drawing two layers right now um, for this uh, test build but uh, this is the little guy let me hatch it down one layer then one layer to the right now if i press space it will place a ladder so i can go up space up space up now if i move to the left i will fall down and one heart will disappear So uh, that's working, uh, and if I just go one up and go down, it gives one little click and it doesn't take one of your hearts. So that's gravity working. I don't even think I mentioned uh, what kind of game I'm trying to make here. Um... I think I'm going to make a, a simple Pong clone, which is uh, plenty difficult enough to finish within a month, especially for someone who uh, doesn't really know uh, basic. <laughs> and uh, well, the next step is uh, trying to use the registered info that's shown from the joystick and to uh, use it to control uh, a sprite, which will act as a pedal. Placing characters in character memory is pretty slow and basic, but uh, we're not allowed to use Assembler and I'm creating a text only game, so it's something I'll have to deal with, I guess. But um, as you can see, it's drawing the last few lines now, so let me flip around the camera and show you what I've got so far. Okay, here is how the game looks right now. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've added an extra layer. Um, whoa, it's losing focus. Uh, also, um, I've also added, uh, as you can see, a red diamond in the bottom. That is actually the end game. So uh, you can actually finish the game now. Pretty cool. And I've also added joystick support, which is awesome. And I don't think you've ever heard that it also makes sound. Not sure if you will be able to hear that, but um, the game actually makes sound. So that's pretty cool. So... Um, I have about a week to um, iron out the last box. Pretty happy with uh, how the game came along. I'm currently uh, experimenting with sprites. I made uh, this simple sprite in an online uh, sprite maker. I then converted it to uh, these codes using the manual. And then using uh, this program from the manual, I uh, managed to uh, get it on the screen. <laughs> Small steps, but we're, uh, we're getting there. The thing I'm now trying to figure out is uh, how the joystick works. And uh, I wrote a little program uh, with help of a manual, of course, to uh, register uh, any movements of the joystick. And uh, well, uh, let me show you. Here's the little program. Uh, it's in Dutch. But if I run it and I move the uh, joystick up, it will say boven, which is Dutch for up and down and the fire button and left and right and all the directions basically. So. so in the last stages of development, one of the things I wanted to do is speed up the game because it's, it's pretty slow uh, as of right now because um, uh, while well, poking to the character ROM, the screen ROM, uh, is, isn't is really fast and the color ROM as well for next loops uh, aren't particularly fast as well. So I wanted to see if I could uh, boost things up, up and uh, I found a way to do that. But uh, this produces a new problem which I will show right now. And when I compile the code, you can see it draws the screen much faster. So I was immediately, immediately very, very happy with the end result. But it has a side effect that I didn't really think of, and that is that it almost makes the game unplayable, because now my character also 
yeah moves really really quick so um i guess that means uh, back to the drawing board for my um move um function perhaps i should use the internal timer of the commodore 64 and not um, rely on four next loops for speed so frustration has officially set in uh i was trying to add the joystick code to my program but suddenly my whole code was corrupted and uh well it's uh Fubar, actually. <laughs> the, word, the word restore is, has uh, randomly been inserted into my code and uh, it's one big mess. So, uh, plenty enough for today and uh, let's continue tomorrow. It was about time that I made one of these uh, floor things again. Uh, this afternoon I actually called uh, Chaos to ask uh, him for help. It's a bit desperate, but uh, I'm stuck and I don't know how to uh, how to get on with uh, my game. It's uh, all a bit hopeless, really. But um, I'll see what I can do uh, in the next uh, couple of days. And uh, the deadline is uh, nearing soon, so uh, fingers crossed. But I'm uh, not really hopeful. So Rampage called uh, called me today uh, while I was at work and. He said that uh, he was having some problems with uh, a few uh, peeks and pokes he was doing. Pro he was probably peeking or poking the wrong address because every time he ran his new code, everything got corrupted and he was getting pretty frustrated about it. So, um, yeah, I don't know what the progress with this game is, but uh, he seems to be building modules and then later adding them together. That's that's the idea I'm gathering from the vague things he's telling me because we're keeping it vague as always. So the challenge is over. The Commodore is back into the gaming room. And I've officially given up. My game is not finished. It's not working. It looks like it is. There are two pedals and a ball, but nothing works. And uh, well. I guess this whole project was a bit over ambitious for uh, a month, but it was a nice experience and uh, I'm very curious what Chaos uh, has managed to make in one month. I just wanted to tell you that I finished my game. Yes, this was so much fun. Uh, it's probably the most fun I've had since I rebought a Commodore 64. It was amazing and I hope that Rampage enjoyed himself as well. This was so much, so much fun. Coming up with an ID for the game, starting to write little scribblets of code. I have a little, little book uh, in which I wrote little pieces of uh, little IDs and, uh, and and some code. Uh, I love, I loved coding a game again, and uh, making it text only, uh, the the same as the first games that I ever made on my Commodore 64. Was so much fun as well. I can't wait to see what Rampage has made because I'm I'm pretty sure he'll be pretty ambitious and uh, perhaps too ambitious, I don't know, but uh, perhaps he even used some music being uh, the music guy that he is. So um, oh my god, <laughs> so I'm, I'm really excited to see what he has made, but my game, it's finally done. Um, I, I really like how it turned out. It's exactly how I imagine, imagined it. So, um, that. <laughs>